Hello, boys and girls, Mr. Pals here. So nice to see you. Um, I have an awesome shirt, which is support your local campground. I know that uh, Peyton's gone camping and Helen and Annika and some other of her friends have gone camping. And today we're going to learn a story, a good science story about some animals you might even see in a campground. So let's learn about these animals. What are some animals with backbones? There are many different kinds of animals. One main group of animals has backbones. Bones help give another. Bones help give an animal shape. Bones can help an animal move. Bones can help protect some body parts of animals. A skunk has a backbone. And these are some animals that we can see when, when you're camping. You might see a deer or a skunk. Definitely try to stay away from the skunk. Animals with backbones. Mammals are animals with backbones. A mammal usually has hair or fur on its body. A young mammal gets milk from their mother. Dogs and cats are two kinds of mammals. The chipmunk in the picture is a mammal. Birds are animals with backbones. Birds have feathers and wings. Birds hatch from eggs. Fish are animals with backbones. Fish live in water. Most fish are covered with scales. Fish have fins. Most fish hatch from eggs. All right, see a chipmunk for the mammal? That looks like a hummingbird for the bird. That looks like a goldfish. Chameleon for the reptile. Oh, bird eye tree frog for the amphibian. Reptiles are animals with backbones. Most reptiles have dry skin. Scales cover and protect a reptile's body. Some reptiles hatch from eggs. Snakes and turtles are two kinds of reptiles. Amphibians are animals with backbones. Amphibians live part of their life in the water and part of their life on land. Most amphibians have smooth, wet skin. Amphibians hatch from eggs. Frogs and toads are amphibians. Awesome. What are some ways mammals are adapted? Mammals live almost everywhere in the world. Like plants, mammals have adapted to live in their environment. An animal's environment is all the living and non-living things around it. Like many animals, mule deer are adapted to live to their environment by camouflage. Camouflage is a color or shape that makes a plant or animal hard to see. All right, so let's look at this mule deer. The mule deer's fur is brown in the summer. Okay. In the winter, the mule deer's fur turns color. The deer is harder to see in the snow. Ah, see in the winter, it's, it's more of like a lighter color to blend in with the snow. For the summer, it's, it's a brown to so kind of blends into the forest. Very cool. Oh, look at this. A flying squirrel is adapted to glide from tree to tree. So cool. A chipmunk sleeps for part of the winter. All right, that chipmunk is just extra cute. Some animals are adapted to act in ways that help them live. Chipmunks store some of their food they find in the summer. They sleep for part of the winter. Chipmunks eat some of the food they store every time they wake up. <clears throat> what are some ways birds are adapted? Many birds are adapted to fly. Wings and feathers help birds fly. The nightjar lives in fields. Its feathers look like the ground. This camouflage helps the bird hide from animals that might want to eat it. This bird is called the nightjar. Oh yeah, I can see it. Boys and girls, can you see the eye of the bird? It, that is perfect camouflage. It blends right in. Hmm. A hummingbird's beak is adapted. A hummingbird uses beak to drink liquid from flowers. They move so fast. If you see a hummingbird in real life, it almost looks like a big bug. Because they're such tiny birds. Most penguins live where it is very cold. A penguin's top feathers are waterproof. These feathers help keep the penguin dry. Tiny feathers below the top feathers trap air. The trapped air helps keep the penguin warm. Penguins do not fly. Their wings are adapted for swimming. Hmm. 
<coughs> ah, bless me. What are some ways fish are adapted? Fish are adapted to live. I'm sorry. Fish, fish are adapted to life in the water. Fish have gills. Gills are body parts that help fish get oxygen from the water. Fish have fins to help them swim. This porcupine fish is adapted to protect itself. The porcupine fish can make itself big. Sharp spikes stick out from its body when it's big. The gill is a fin. This tiny porcupine fish can become very big. Changing shape protects the porcupine fish. All right, so look at this, boys and girls. These two fish are the same exact fish, but the porcupine fish can inflate to intimidate the predators. Amazing. Many catfish live in lakes and rivers. Catfish can swim deep in the water where it is dark. Catfish have feelers that look like whiskers. Feelers help catfish find food. Long feelers help a catfish find food. This stingray uses the sharp spike on its tail to protect itself. Hey, look at this stingray. I actually touched this stingray once. I was in um, Connecticut, and there's an aquarium there. And uh, they give you, like, pellets, and the stingray will come right up to you. And I was surprised, like, how smooth it was. Okay. What are some ways reptiles are adapted? Reptiles are adapted to change in air temperature. A reptile's body is cold when the air is cold. A reptile's body is warm when the air is warm. Reptiles can move quickly when they are warm. Zap. A chameleon has a long tongue. The chameleon has a sticky ball at the end of the tongue. Food sticks to this ball. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Open wide. This snake's mouth is adapted to open very wide. This snake can swallow its food whole. A desert iguana is adapted to live in the hot, sunny desert. Dark colors get hot in the sun. Light colors stay cooler in the sun. The light skin helps the desert iguana keep cool. There's a desert iguana. Beautiful, right? Oh, here we go. These are my type of animals. Amphibians. What are some ways amphibians are adapted? Most amphibians begin their life in the water. Many amphibians move to the land when they are grown. Frogs are amphibians. Frogs often live near water. Smooth, wet skin helps frogs live in moist environments. These tree frogs have bright red eyes. Other animals want to eat the frogs. The frogs' eyes help scare these animals away. Yeah, they look pretty scary. Oh, look at that toad. Toads are amphibians. Toads begin their life in water. Toads move to land when they are grown. Toads dig deep in the ground when it's very hot. They look for food at night. Most toads have dry, rough skin. That actually is a Pac-Man frog right here, boys and girls. Right there. So I have a pet frog and two pet toads. And I got to say, for most of my life, I couldn't tell the difference. But having the pets... There are a couple differences. Number one, they mentioned before, is his skin. Uh, toads have very bumpy, kind of rough skin. Uh, not that they can't get wet. They can, but for the most part, it's kind of it's dry and kind of bumpy. Frogs are almost like slimy. They're, they're really, really smooth. Um, another way I noticed between the difference frogs and toads is their back legs. Frogs have longer back legs. It's almost like a spring where they can just bounce up really high. Where toads have like kind of stumpy back legs. And although toads can hop, they kind of prefer to crawl. So those are the differences I've noticed. All right. What are some animals without backbones? One main group of animals. One main group of animals has backbones. Another main group of animals does not have backbones. Most kinds of animals do not have backbones. Insects. Insects are animals that do not have backbones. Insects have three body parts. The body parts are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Insects have six legs. Antenna helps some insects feel, smell, 
hear, and taste. This insect is called a walking stick. Camouflage makes the insect hard to see on a plant. And here is the body parts. You got the head, the abdomen, and the thorax. Some kinds of honey pot ants are adapted to store water and food in their abdomens. A diving beetle's legs are adapted. Its hairy legs help the beetle swim. Here's the antenna. Huh. Ooh. Here we go. Other animals without backbones. An octopus lives in the ocean. An octopus is an animal without a backbone. An octopus is adapted to find and catch food. An octopus has good eyesight. Its eyesight helps it find food. The suction cups on its arms help the octopus hold its food. An octopus has eight arms. Spiders are animals without backbones. Spiders have eight legs. Spiders are adapted to spin webs. The webs trap insects that spiders eat. This spider builds a web to trap insects. Wow. Yeah, so a lot of insects have something called, boys and girls, an exoskeleton, say exoskeleton. And that's almost like the skeleton is on the outside of their body, whereas we have, you know, our skeleton inside our body. And that's why they do not have backbones. All right. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story today. I will see you soon.